My name is Connor Burton and I'm an analytics consultant at PH Data. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use sparklines in Power BI. This is one of the new features uh, or new preview features in the December 2021 update um, of Power BI Desktop. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with sparklines, a sparkline is essentially a kind of trend chart that's generally shown as a bar or line graph to give additional context to a KPI or metric. Sparklines don't have axes or data labels as they tend to be smaller charts meant for the purpose of conveying a general trend of your data. They're usually paired with another visual or metric and are not generally shown as a standalone visual. Um, and in Power BI, sparklines are currently enabled to be used just with the table and matrix visualizations. With that, we can come over to Power BI for a demo. Um, so first things first, you need to make sure that you've got the December 2021 version of Power BI Desktop. And to do that, you can click File, come down to About. Then this will bring up a little window here where you can see the version that you have installed. Um, it should say December 2021 right here. If it doesn't, or if you don't have that version installed, you'll need to go to Power BI or the Power BI website to install that uh, or else you will not be able to use Sparklines. So after you verify you have that, you can hit close. And then the next step is to make sure that the Sparkline feature is enabled. So click File, Options and Settings, Options, and this will bring up a window here where you will go in to the Preview Features section and find Sparklines, second one from the bottom here, make sure it's checked, and then hit OK. And after doing those two steps, we're now able to use Sparklines in our visuals. Um, so I'm going to start off with just a table visualization here, bring it to the center. The data set that I'm using is the Superstore sample data set. Um, so I'm just going to bring in the category and then we're going to look at sales. So this table is just bringing down the sales by each category. So to add in the Sparkline. We're just going to go here to where we brought, where we drag sales for the visual. We're going to click this drop down, and then we're going to hit Add a Sparkline. And because we're doing it that way, it already knows that sales is what we want on the y-axis of the Sparkline. So that's the field or the number that we want to see um, the trend for. And then it also knows because of how we had it over here, which we had sum of sales for the values it's gonna by default put the sum as a summarization. But a few other options here, you can do average, min, max, count distinct, count, standard deviation, and variance, and median. Um, so you've got a few different options for that. Then with the x-axis, a lot of times this is gonna be a date, um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. For me, I'm gonna use the order date, which you can either use the date hierarchy that it has, just be where, um, with that, if it spans over multiple years, just make sure you know what you're showing. Um, because if you wanted to use the month from this date hierarchy and it spanned over multiple years, um, each month that shows on the um, x-axis would just be a summation of all the data that correlates or that goes with that month regardless of the year. Um, so just make sure you know what you're showing there. But I'm not going to use the date hierarchy. I'm just going to use the actual order date itself. Um, so there should be quite a few data points in here because I think this data spans three, maybe four years. Um, but after clicking that, you hit create. And you'll notice that the spark line comes in automatically after that. And it also adds a little spot here to your values section. Um, and you can tell that it's a sparkline because it'll have this little icon next to it. So you can see it brings it in, um, adds a little context to the data. You might also notice this little information um, icon here that pops up. And this is just telling us that your sparklines are showing a subset of the data points taken at regular intervals because there's too much data to show all at once. To fix this, reduce the number of data points which I learned that the maximum number of data points you can have is 52. So in our case, the order date, there are more than 52 order dates. 
So it's just going to pick dates um, at regular intervals to, so you still get an idea of the trend, but you're not going to see every single data point. So just know that if your data or if the field on the X axis has more than 52 data points, um, it won't show every single data point. It'll just show, um, or it'll pick out data points at regular intervals. So you still get a good general idea of what your trend looks like. So after that, you'll see over here, if we want to edit the sparkline, just click the carrot or this drop down for the sales by order date sparkline, and you can hit edit. And your only options with edit the sparkline are if you want to change what's on the Y axis, change the summarization, or change the order date. So let's say I wanted to look at the average instead of the sum. I could change that, hit OK, and it will change automatically in my graph or in my visual. Um, so I'm going to actually change that back to sum just for the sake of this. So you hit sum, change it back. So again, now we've got the sum or the sum of the sales showing broken down by the order date. So the next step after that would be if you wanted to format your um, sparkline. So to do that, you'll come up here into the visualizations pane. You'll see this format your visual button. You can click on that and then should be the last option here is sparklines. So you can expand that. And if you had multiple sparklines, um, which you can have up to five sparklines in one visual. So what that means is I could have one for sales, profit, and then I could have one for three other um, three other measures, and that is as many as I could have for this visual. So you'll see here that I've got, I've only got one, so I can't change this, but if I had multiple, I could change which sparkline I'm applying the formatting to. So after you see that, you'll come down here, you can change the chart type. It can either be a line or a column. Um, Personally, for this one, I prefer line, but it's nice to have that ability to change it between the two. You can change the color to whatever color you want. So let's say we just want to look at it in red. Um, unfortunately, there isn't any functionality yet for um, conditional coloring for the spark lines. Um, so right now it's pretty limited and just changing everything has to be the same color. And then after that, you could change the width if you want. So you can make it a lot thicker. Um, or thinner if you'd like. And then one last piece of formatting that you can do is add in a marker. And this is nice if you wanna just see the highest point, lowest point, um, first or last, different things like that. If it ever drops in the negative, you can just click it and see, okay, there's none here that drop into the negative. Um, let's say we wanna add the lowest point, you'll see that comes in and it shows on each of the, for each category. So I'm gonna add in the highest point as well. So you'll see that it highlights the highest point over all the order dates and also the lowest point for each category. And then it will also do that for the total overall um, without, or just the sum of everything, not looking at it by category. So you can do that and then you can change whatever that marker is. Say you want it to be a triangle. Um, you can change the shape of that. I'm just gonna change it back to circle. And then again, you could change the size. So say you wanted to make it bigger, which when you do it like that, it kind of starts to look a little, or you can't really tell as much from it. So I'm just gonna keep it small, but you can change the size if you want to. So after doing that, that is, pretty much everything you need to know about using the sparkline in a table visual. Um, I'll walk you through real quick. It's going to be a very similar process, but I'll walk you through how to use a sparkline in a matrix visual as well. So I'm just going to bring in a matrix and I'm going to look at the same thing. So I'm going to bring category here and then I'm going to bring the sales in for the values. Um, so again, this looks very similar to our table visual, but I'm going to bring in an additional field, um, which is the subcategory. 
So now we'll be able to click in and see, okay, for furniture, what specifically, or how are the sales broken down by these specific subcategories? So the nice thing about this is I can come in, um, add a sparkline like I did to the table visualization. We're just gonna do sales, we're gonna do sum, and then we're going to bring in the order date again. So hit create, um, and then it will bring it in for you. Again, you get the icon because we have more than 52 order dates. But the cool part here about doing it with a matrix is that you can click this or you can expand it here or you can expand all of them here. And you'll see that you'll get a trend line for each of the subcategories when you expand it, which in my opinion is really cool. It's awesome to have that functionality to be able to see the overall trend line for that category and then also see like each individual trend line for the subcategories. So again, same thing with formatting. You can come up here, click on that, um, come down here to spark lines and change the line, color, width, and add a marker if you want to. So again, that is a demo and a little run through of spark lines in Power BI. Um, again, it's still a preview feature right now and it can only be used in the table visualization and the matrix visualization. Um, a few other notes that I'd like to reiterate is that you can have a maximum of 52 data points on the X axis. Um, if you hover over the spark line, you can actually see it'll show you um, the max and min or the minimum and maximum points for the sales over those order dates. So you can see that for each one, um, which I think is pretty cool functionality to be able to have. Uh, then other than that, the maximum number of spark lines that can be in a visualization is five. Um, again, meaning you can have five different columns with spark lines in them. And then lastly, the maximum number of columns in a matrix visualization with spark lines is 20. So you can have up to those five spark line, um, or you can have up to five spark lines. And then on top of that, you can have 15 other columns of data. Um, so yeah, this is a feature that I'm very excited about and I think it'll be a great tool to add um, some versatility to your tables and matrix visualizations. So that covers um, all the information for Sparklines in Power BI. Um, again, I think it's gonna be a great tool to use for um, adding a little bit of versatility to your table and matrix visualizations. Thank you for tuning in. Mm -hmm.